Well, Christopher, thank you very much for all that. Um, our next speaker is going to have her work cut out because she's speaking in favour of the motion that the Catholic Church is a force for good. The Conservative MP and former Government Minister, Anne Widdicombe, she's as well known for her religious views as for her politics. If you recall, she left the Church of England in 1992 in a blaze of publicity when it allowed the ordination of women priests. The following year she converted to Catholicism and has become one of the most vocal and staunchest defenders of the Catholic Church since then. Anne Widdicombe, the floor is yours. <laughs> If apologies are due tonight, they are due from Christopher Hitchens, who has just run through one of the longest series of misrepresentations of the Catholic Church that I have heard in a long time. He has said with that certainty which characterises his utterances that the Catholic Church has had a history of anti-Semitism. Let us just look at the record of the Catholic Church. When the Jewish community was under the most serious threat that it has faced in recent centuries. And just look at the role that the Catholic Church played in the last World War. Mr. Hitchens ignores the thousands of Jews who were secreted and rescued in churches and monasteries throughout Europe. He ignores the 3,000 Jews who in the course of that conflict took refuge in the Pope's own summer palace. And coming nearer to our day, of course Christopher Hitchens is right, and who could possibly dispute with him? that the abuse of children, of innocent children, is one, in fact it is the worst offence that anybody can commit. Of that, no doubt. But again he seems to think that the Catholic Church should have had some unique insight which demonstrably was lacking in society as a whole do not expect the Catholic Church somehow, when that was the state uh, of knowledge at the time, uh, to have acted uh, in a unique and completely different way. In retrospect, yes, of course. In retrospect, yup. In retrospect, it should have done. So should the magistrates. So should, so should the Samaritans. So should the National Council of Civil Liberties. But when we ask... Who, whether the Catholic Church is a force for good. Let's just try to imagine a world today without, for example, the billions of pounds that are poured into overseas aid by the Catholic Church, contributing year on year more than any single nation. Imagine the developing world had been left without the input of the medicine and the education that was brought to it by the missions. Imagine the absence of those collections Sunday upon Sunday for famine relief. Imagine the absence of the church in the local community. We play a vital, we play a vital role. And you don't need to be a Catholic to acknowledge that we play that role. What is the church? It is its members. It is the nuns and the monks and the priests and the lay workers and the congregations. It is not just the hierarchy of the church. And I believe that the church to which I belong is a massive, massive force for good. But let us not just keep the debate at that level. I knew somehow that when we were here tonight we would be discussing child abuse and condoms. They came in the end. I was almost thought we were going to get through an entire speech without condoms from Christopher Hitchens, but we got them at the end. But that, 
That is not what the Catholic Church is about. It isn't only about the physical relief of the poor. It isn't only about the work it does on earth. But it is the message that it preaches. And that message is one of hope. That message is one of salvation. And it is all very well for some people in an intellectual arrogance to say, we can do without that. But actually billions of people across the world live by that message of hope and of salvation. They try to live by the commandments and also by the interpretation of those commandments by Christ. Yeah, sometimes they fail. Sometimes their leaders fail. Human beings do fail. But overwhelmingly, I say to you tonight with no apology or whatever, that a world without the Catholic Church would be poorer, would be more hopeless, and would be a worse place in which to live.